Welcome to 1818 Farms. I'm Natasha McCreary, the owner, and today we're going to be discussing our sheep and what we do with their wool. We have a couple of um, end products that we produce from the wool, but one of my very favorite things is our sheep to nest backyard uh, suet feeder, and we'll talk about it a little more. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to go over and meet two of our sheep and talk a little bit about their wool and why we shear when we shear and just look at the thickness as we're now at the end of February and why the importance of shearing one calendar year to get the staple length. All right, guys, we're here out in a new paddock, so they're extremely excited, this beautiful green grass. I've got a little bit of feed to get them away from the grass so we can zoom in on their wool. We've got Ollie here, and if you look in, you can really see how thick his wool is. He's starting to get hot. We're at the end of... Uh, February. You can start, kind of see here at the top of his head, a little bit of uh, vegetation in there. But this is why you shear. Um, today we're going to be 70 degrees. And really, you know, think about if you had his thick wool on like he has, you're hot. So we try and shear every year around the end of March. Two reasons. One, it's starting to get really hot here. But also we start lambing around the 1st of April. And um, you want them to be as clean as they can and go ahead and get everything uh, sheared off of them. We're going to see Ollie. He's one of our larger weathers. He was the first sheep ever born at 1818 Farms. And these are the South Down Baby Doll sheep. Um, it's a heritage breed, a rare breed, but super cute. They look like smiling teddy bears if you look at his face here. Um, and what we'll do, if you'll subscribe into our YouTube channel, We'll probably do some shots that day from our sheep shearing day and let you really see. Hopefully we can do Ollie so you can really see how trim he's going to look once we get all this wool off. And they're so happy. We have a question a lot. Is it humane to, to shear? Absolutely. Like the day we shear, they're going to be, even our older sheep, they're going to be running around doing little donkey kicks. They're so happy that they're going to get their shearing done. They're cooler. It's just so hot. Even today with them, they'll be panting, you know, even with the barn. So Ollie here, so we share, and what happens, we do a couple different products. Um, you know, at the holiday, we're going to make some little cute little uh, Christmas ornaments, and here comes Lola. And But one thing is we're really big on sustainability here at our farm and using, you know, everything we can. Like we collect the sheep manure, the chicken manure, we compost it. It goes back into our garden for our flowers. So we're trying to use every natural resource that we can in a responsible way. And one thing I was really thinking would be great you know, for us to be able to have a more affordable product from our sheep's wool. And we have what's called our sheep to nest uh, wool, wool filled suet feeder. And it's been great. It's something that you get, you know, you're now shearing the sheep, hanging it in your yard. And we'll go in and look at it a little closely. And then the birds are going to use it and just the whole cycle of sustainability in your backyard. All right, guys. So now we're going to talk a little bit more in detail about our sheep to nest uh, wool filled suet feeders. And the process is the sheep is going to be sheared. Then we're going to do what's called skirting it. And basically, it's not a very fun job. But it's taking out all the vegetable matter, uh, manure. you really getting it clean. Then it's going to be washed. We have to wash our wool about three times because it's called a, a greasy wool. It's, what it, it's called a dirty wool. They have a lot of lanolin. And so we wash that, dry it. Once it's dried, then we use some hand carters. And this is um, pieces of the wool that's carded. This is this looks like one that would maybe come from static. It's a little lighter, although a lot of our older sheep are graying. And this is probably like, look at Ollie here. He's helping me. This is really more his color, what he should be, but they just get dirty over the year. And you kind of see have a little crimp here, but this has been washed. Then once we hand card it, we mix it together and we put it in this adorable metal suet feeder. And, you know, you hang it near a bird feeder, which is the best. It's really the best to get it in the spring um, because they're when they're building their nest. And the birds just come and pull this out and build a little nest. Once you're finished with this, you can just, you know, it has the door that opens. It's reusable as a suet feeder. And you buy the little suet cakes, you can make the suet cake. So, you know, something that you can continue to use. What I love is if you followed us, you know, each of a lot of our products have one of our farm animals as the cover guy or the cover girl. And here's Elvis. He's one of our rams. He has the finest fleece on our farm. Extremely long, nice, beautiful, staple length, soft. And it has the little bird pulling it out of his uh, fleece and building a nest. But then on the back of the card, 
we have the descriptions here. So if you gift this to someone who isn't sure, it's very clear, you know, where to, um, where to hang it um, and what to expect once you get this in your yard. So this is one of the products. Um, we're also working on a line of some other curated products with the sheep's wool. I think what's uh, interesting is there's a lot of labor. If for anyone who's out there who's a fiber artist, there's so much labor that goes into, you think about a year of care of the sheep, the shearer, the skirting the wool, just for us to skirt uh, all of our flocks fleeces, it takes us about uh, 30 to 40 uh, labor hours to get it really clean because you, know, you, want it, you want to be as clean as you can when you're washing it then the hand carding it, and then getting it into the suet feeder. So even that part is a lot. If you go the next step and you haven't, you spit it into yarn, which we have some of ours into yarn. And then we also have it into some coarse spun, which is what we use for we make the little ornaments and some different other um, alternatives that we use the wool with. So that's just one of our products. Um, if you've enjoyed seeing this, I suggest you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting more up about the sheep, especially with lambing coming, which is my favorite time of the year, and then also with the sheep shearing, which should probably be the end of March. Um, it won't be this year um, a live event, but we'll have some recordings and some great educational videos for you and your family to watch. And thank you guys for tuning in today.